If you've ever wondered what LTE is and how it works, Andy Walker is here to explain what it is, how it works with a whole lot of fruit. A lot of fruit, yeah, absolutely. This is going to be really interesting. First up, what is LTE? Uh, LTE is sort of the next generation cell network. So uh, long-term evolution. It's an evolution of how we receive voice and data and things that we need on our cell phones. Um, so that we can get all the services that we want. All right, so now to the fun part. You have built something here that is going to explain LTE and how it does work. So uh, explain what this little thing here is. Yeah, it's a, it's a, well, LTE is a hyper -com complex situation, so this is overly simplified. But think of it like this, that as a piece of data or a voice packet, you have a voice packet over there, that's lemons, okay. right? And we'll show you something else in a minute. So that flows over a channel over the air. So we've got okay. three channels here, and this is the previous generation. So this is, so you know, once upon a time, you take a piece of data and it rolls down a channel and okay. it goes from one user to the, to the other and user. And I can roll this down? Yeah, and that's a voice, piece of voice. And so you can imagine, you know, this is kind of going. This is really fun. Data is, data is flowing, you're talking, you're receiving email, and that sort of thing, right? But it's limited. There's only three lanes. In fact, in the real world, the previous generation had about seven lanes, right? And it was kind of hard to get things off, you of know, course, yeah. on, on, very, very fast. So not right? enough lanes not and enough lanes. too much fruit or packets of data. Right, so there's a lot of what's called, they call latency, which is a delay. You know, here it is, we've got to wait. Here it is, we've got to wait, right? Okay. Now, under LTE, now we go from seven lanes or seven channels to 20 channels. All right. So it's like a 20 channel super highway. Okay, let's build this super highway because I know you have more than just this one All little right. piece of wood here. We're gonna so, lock these together, right? These two together, right? Okay. So now we have a massive capability. So not, not only can we uh, put voice and data across it, right, which we'll do, but we can do it much faster, right? We can do it a lot faster. Okay. And it's gonna, okay, got that? Right, so now, but think about it, when you're going down the highway, what happens? You uh, actually have HOV lanes, right? Yes. You have dedicated lanes. Under LTE, we have dedicated channels to handle things that are really important. Oh, I right? understand. Okay. So, video mm -hmm. or video gaming information and that sort of thing. And then all of a sudden now, that, you know, you put some voice on there <laughs> and I'll put like, some more data on. And it's not getting interrupted at all and it's going much faster. Now we have faster on, on so we can both do it very, very quickly. Okay, because we have those HOV lanes. That's okay, right. Okay, so let's set this down for a second. That was very cool. Okay, I think I understand the idea behind LTE. Now this is better for everyone, right? In terms of being able to get your information more quickly. Well, exactly. So you have a much faster uh, capacity now and over the next 10 years or so, we're going to see a massive growth in data usage in voice and you know a lot of people are now using cell phones for their home capability in terms of their data right so a lot of people need a lot of data capability we're looking at 150 megabytes down and 75 up right so huge capacity massive explosion of data needs and so the channels have to be wider and more managed all right if you want to learn more about LTE Andy Walker is going to blog about it on our website at appcentral.ca let's do this <laughs>